Dare I ask what's going on? Ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case. We have a problem. The vast majority of those gathered here are presently in the employ of the guard or else one of the facets, and no longer wish to be so. In principle, all are free to change vocation at any time, but a city does require a certain number of people in these positions if it is to continue to function. For the moment, I have asked them to postpone their resignation until such time as replacements can be found. As you may have surmised, we have the Warrior of Light to thank for this. It's you! The Warrior of Darkness! You understand, don't you? Someone's going to have to look after this place once you're gone. We just want to be ready to do our bit when the time comes. And not only here, but everywhere. Which is why we've got to get out there and lend a hand to those in need. That's what you did, isn't it? Even if it was just little things at the start. You helped people. And we're trying to do the same. We may have our sky back, but there's no shortage of people who still need help. If we follow in your footsteps, then I choose to believe we too can be heroes one day, even warriors of light. What are we to say to that? We can hardly tell them they are mistaken. They seek but to do good, as you have. But no more can we stand idly by and suffer a paragon scheme to proceed unchallenged. What's happening to the sky? I hear a voice. You and all. Then why does it feel like it's inside my head? Hear, feel, think. I hear it. Me too. Did I not tell you, my friends? You are warriors of light. You're back!
What you hear is the voice of light itself, and it has blessed you with its power. Welcome to the fold! I'm a warrior of light. I've been chosen? Can it be? Me, a hero. Wait! The falling stars, were they your doing? And why do you need warriors of light? What, am I to reveal my plans simply because you asked? Nay, I think not. Though the stars I acknowledge mine. A convenient illusion apt to awaken what little is left of the power that once resided in your sundered souls. That which you and yours call the Echo. And an Echo it is of a symphony but a fraction of what men in their completeness once possessed. Even those among you who tower over others in the gift have only the faintest trace of it. But those sundered and forgotten through death and mocking rebirth, it has persisted. A whisper of our past burned into your very ether, along with the sight of our end. Through the rekindling of memory, I have awoken the ability, just as Heidelin is wont to do when she has need of new minions. The Echo hath ever been thought a gift from Heidelin, a boon granted solely to her chosen. Yet thou wouldst claim she merely awakeneth the power that men should hearken unto? Her voice. Given the perceived simultaneity of her call and the awakening of her chosen's capacity to hear it, it is only natural that we thus attributed the source of the gift. Yet if, in truth, the Echo is a prerequisite for hearing her voice, one might surmise that her call never ceaseth, such that all who awaken to their innate gift might receive of the blessing of light at the selfsame instant. In sooth, we bore witness to this but moments ago. At the sight of the star shower, full many in the crowd did speak of hearing a voice in their minds, did they not? Just so. And whenever Heidelin has need of new servants, she is quick to pluck comets from the heavens or create illusions of the same. Why then didst thou conjure this vision, full knowing that thine age-old foe would thus claim those awakened to the gift? Foe? You must be mistaken. As you see, I am a warrior of light. And together with my comrades in arms, I shall save the world. Just like you.
foiled again. If I cannot imbue the infernal thing with my power via magical means, we may need to devise a way to infuse the vessel with my blood after all. Oh. Art thou unwell? Oh, perhaps a brief respite? It wouldn't do to overtax yourself. I'm fine. And given to stubbornness, I'm afraid. Especially when I have a stake in the outcome. Dream again. A recurring dream? They do so fascinate me. Might I trouble you for the details? I've always dreamed of it. Fire falling from the heavens, and the city, nay, the whole world ablaze. Indeed. Could Emmet Selk have found a way? Precious few possess memories of the final days. Final days. Why, yes. Admittedly, my knowledge is mostly second hand, but if you are interested, I will gladly tell you the tale. The tale of the world's end. <laughs> <laughs>